Look, he's got a big old region. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out with Sir Royal Fluffness and uh, his court jester, and uh, we're gonna spend the night out here in the woods, hunter camping. Whoo! I'm warm. I'm pretty sweaty under this. We've got some beautiful wintry scene out here all uh, right now. So what happened is it's not always common for the snow to be this stuck to the trees like this. We it was real warm. We had some like rainy snow and it froze and then it snowed like it snowed a little bit right after and it's just stuck to the trees it's just super beautiful all the trees are like bent over and just ah oh, it's gorgeous not like a pristine winter anyways we got a little bit of a late start and it doesn't help that you know one thing you don't think about when you go winter camping is parking spots and i had to chip away at some frozen snow plowed bank that was like this high and I was just reaming on it as hard as I could and that just oh that took more time than I wanted it to but anyways it's pretty thick this sled is not the best um, for going through this thicker stuff um, I used to have my other sled which is I don't know but it's that much shorter so it's like cut off here yeah that makes a big difference going through these trees because this thing's just getting stuck and it's just floating on top of the snow so good. I went along some hills and it just slips down, gets caught around a tree. That's neither here nor there. Anyways, what we gotta do now is find ourselves a spot. You know, that's what we gotta do. So I'm gonna set this bag down and we are gonna look around. I don't know if I'm gonna, that looks like a hill over there. 
looks like there's a path that way. There's definitely some stuff up behind the camera. I don't really want to be on the hill. We're going to go check out this first. And then we'll kind of move all around. We're just going to find a nice flat spot with a couple of trees to tie to. And then we'll get to work. So let's do it, boys. We got to find ourselves a spot. Monty, you're not even helping. What are you, what are you doing? It's like, yeah, I knew you'd come back. You always do. That's why I trust you to go in the wild on your own. You know, if I, if I didn't trust you to come back, I'd have to watch you. That spot was, a, it was all hills, Monty. It's no good, we gotta, we gotta go over here. Sun's kind of setting. Would you look at that? Well, this is going to be our spot. Nice wintry backdrop. Nice flat and open spot. I am sweating. That's never a good thing. You don't really want to be sweating in winter. Normally, what I do is shed layers, but it's kind of warm out today. It's like uh, upper 20s. It's like 28 Fahrenheit. It's probably dropping now, but whenever you do hiking like this, you always want it to be kind of in the teens. Maybe maybe 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is something Celsius. But at least that, so that you're not you're you know you're cooling off as you're walking. You're not just sweating. And I've only got one layer of thermals, and this is not insulated at all. But it just doesn't breathe the best. So I'm just. I'm kind of sweating. I'm not soaked, but I'm definitely a little damp. But, yeah, we've got these two trees to tie to. This looks open. We've got maybe two feet of snow, maybe more than that. I don't really know. Something like that. Whew. But first things first, we got to clear out our spot. And we're not going to have a ton of time today to dilly-dally. You know, I gotta, one of these days I'm gonna figure out my life and we won't get as many late starts. You know, but then again, what is life without a late start? Huh, Monty? Huh, Monty? Oh, don't worry, Monty, we're gonna, Ruger, hey. Leave it. Leave it, Ruger. Watch out, fluffy butt. I gotta move this stuff. Okay. Get a little. Oh, we're gonna go to that tree, to this tree. So we're probably gonna have our fire pit like that. All that.
What are you doing? Mr. Monty needs an acceptable spot. We're, almost, we're dug out to the ground here. Oh, you know, sometimes when you're chipping away at ice to dig out your car, you burn your arms out. My arms are kind of toast right now, I'm gonna be honest. I still gotta clear all this. Yeah, we gotta get firewood. Needless to say, we're burning the firewood in half today. Nothing wrong with a little hard work. That's one thing about winter camping. Sometimes everyone's like, you know, it's crazy, it's cold, it's freezing. Well, if you're working your butt off the whole time, you don't even notice that it's cold. In fact, it's actually kind of warm. But that's the key, is to keep working and you won't get cold. All right, Mr. Fat Buck with poop pants. Come on. Here, my tea. Uh. Ow. Oh, that hurt my knee. Oh, frozen stick. Oh, jeez. Why did it hurt so much? Oh, I just, that, that, ah. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here. Come here. Right, lay down. There you go. That's perfect. Isn't that perfect? Oh, my knee. There's a frozen little maple stick on a ridge, and I just slammed my knee. It may not have seemed like much. It hurts. Oh. It hurts. Ruger, I thought we talked about this. I was going to bring you. No. Leave it. I thought I was gonna bring you out and you weren't gonna just constantly eat sticks. I thought that was the deal. We've been working on that kinda, trying, and having some okay process, pro progress, but not too much. Nothing groundbreaking with the old Rugis Tugis Badugas. Huh. Rugis, stop it. Just Stop it. Please. Please. Catch the snow if you want. That's better than eating the sticks constantly. Because we talked about it. Okay? I thought we I thought we got some of roofs. We just have to keep digging out here. Monty, let's both, let's not lie to ourselves. You're not going to get that thick. Go ahead and go try. Go ahead. You're going to get like five feet in, you're going you're gonna to realize it's too much work. Go ahead, Monty, go get it. About five feet. Found a tree in the ground right here. Not a big one. We'll have to pile some snow over it. Okay, this is good enough uh, for right now. I'm gonna have to, usually the ground's a little uneven, so I'm gonna have to use some of this snow. What are you doing? So, either way, probably gonna have to dig out more. Let's bring some of this stuff over here. And uh that the tarp. <sighs> 
So, the last two times we've gone out camping, I've had to, I've had things go wrong and I had to leave and go home. Well, that's not happening today. I got extra SD cards. We're not using the hot stove. And it's just, I'm just, we'll just make it work. Uh, you know, it's just, I'm not doing it. <laughs> if the camera dies, this is all you get then. That's what happens this time. All right, we gotta make sure we got the right way. Okay, can't possibly screw it up today. I shouldn't say that, but you know, sometimes I like to risk it. We need more rope. Monte, I gave you a spot. You know, it's kind of rude that you're not using it. Don't you think, a little bit? He's like, it's not good enough. Where's the cushy thing? I want the cushy thing. This knife needs sharpening. Ruger, I can hear you eating sticks. Please. Ruger? Please. All right, we never get it perfect on the first try. I want to be like that. That is the ugliest knot I've made in a while. I'll just have to do for right now. All right, let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. Will it be good enough though? And that is the question. That's not long enough. I feel like every single time I go out, I'm cutting a new piece of paracord to tie on. So that leads me to wonder, where the heck is all the paracord going? I mean, every time I come out, I'm cutting a new cord and I leave all my ropes attached. So I mean, what the heck is going on? Is there like a rope goblin or paracord goblin that just is coming along and stealing or something? I mean, I've gone camping quite a few times. And it just feels like I'm always cutting a new piece of paracord. It just doesn't even make sense. Oh, that was pretty good on the first try, boys. Uh-oh. Better watch out. I'm figuring out how to set up a tarp. Uh-oh. That was a little... No, oh, it's pretty good. That's not too shabby. All right. Now it looks like I got to clear out a little bit. Right there. A little bit of snow there. And then a little bit of snow here. Okay, a little bit more shoveling. You won't be able to see me. So I guess I'll shut the camera off for a second. Save them batteries. Monty, you're such a good boy. Got a couple of sticks here. I'm just gonna try to stick them in the ground. Um, if that doesn't, since the ground probably frozen, um, what you do is you kind of stick it as best you can and you just pack a bunch of snow. Hopefully it stays. I just walked through that snow without uh, using snowshoes. And uh, it's a lot more work. But man, it's just a gorgeous sunset right now. I don't, the camera never picks it up because sometimes it focuses on the ground, sometimes it focuses on the sky and it gets a little bright. But it's just pink. There's some clouds, it's all pink and just orange. It's pretty beautiful. Pretty gorgeous. 
If I do say so myself, Mr. Ruggis, it's a pretty gorgeous one. Right too. Let's hope we can get these in the ground, hey Ruggs? Huh? You cannot take these, please. Watch out, Ruggs. You cannot take these. Oh, nice. The ground's not frozen yet. Went right in. I didn't dig out the snow enough. Dang it. Come on. Oh, this one's not gonna go in. All right, we're gonna try lightly pounding it with the ax. Leave it, Rubes. Don't even think about it. And seeing if that works any magic. All right, it went in a little bit. Now we're just gonna pack snow on it. That is where we're sleeping tonight. What do you think, boys? What do you think, Monty? It's like I wish you would give me a comfier spot. Because this is bull crap. Let's, let's check it out, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh geez, Rooks. Whoa, Rooks. Simmer down, Rooks. What you doing, Rooks? You're going crazy. All right, that's plenty of... Plenty of room. This dog, just look at him. Thanks, Rugs. Probably gonna burn that, but thanks anyways. Okay, well, since it's, uh, you know, the sun's setting, I should probably not sit around. We just gotta go get some firewood. It's not gonna be too difficult tonight because we're not gonna really process it. Uh, that's one of the nice things about just having sleeping under the tarp and just having an open fire pit is you can just lay them long, burn them in half. So that's what we're gonna do. But I need to gather it first. But before I go out, I'm bringing my headlamp because it's gonna probably get dark really quickly here. Okay, time to find some firewood, boys. <laughs> bad boy down. Gonna get the top. We're on the sting branch. Should come down. It's barely attached. Come on. You boys good? The old lift and drag.
dumb. <laughs> oh man. I uh Oh man. This dropped and it bounced up and hit me in the face. Luckily, didn't hit me, you know, right in the nose or the actual skin. It hit me like the forehead. So, you know, that thing's pretty thick anyways. Anyways, that was dumb. Gotta be more careful. Got lucky again, that's okay. I'll take it. This should be plenty of firewood. And this piece, we're kind of right next to camp anyways, but uh, all this firewood's laid on another down tree. So we're gonna get a fire going with this. And this should already be plenty, but if we need more, we'll just come grab this piece that's wedged between these trees. Burger, stop it. Oh, this piece is dense. All right, we're just gonna take this one piece here and I'll cut this up and split this and then uh, we should be able to get a fire going with this and burn the rest in half. That is some solid firewood. All right, plenty. I know, your, your spot's gonna get messed up for a minute. Cause the fire's gonna go right here. Oh, Ruger, calm down. Watch out, Rooks, get back. It's got a little spike on the end, so maybe that'll help, maybe that'll make this harder. And it will help. And I'm gonna split it. Perfect. Should do that every time. Watch out, we get back. No, 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 hey, hey, hey. You little thief. That was so quick you stole that. Get back. Hey! You little thief. Stop it. Get back, Roos. Back up. Don't even think about it. He just like that nice clanky firewood. Okay, let's spark this bad boy up. All right, I've got some birch bark that I gathered from earlier on the way. Just gonna crumple that up. One thing you'll notice when I start fires is I don't always use a lot of kindling. It just really depends. This fire. I'm not using much at all.
Hey, that's my camera. Let's see, a little more. key thing when you're starting fires and you're not using much kindling is you want to make sure to smother it. It's a very important step. Come here. All right, our fire is not in the stage where it's, this will not go out. There's zero percent chance. We're not quite there yet. But, Soon. But it's going, I don't think it's going to go out as long as I don't touch it, let everything turn to coals. Yeah, she should be good. Once it gets really ripping and this turns to coals, I'll throw on these other pieces, start burning them in half. We'll probably cut off one, maybe two pieces, just so that we have a nice big fire going. But for now, this is gonna do it. Hey Rufus, 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 you're crazy. Hey Rufus, Rooks, you gotta come here, you gotta give Monty a chance. Come here. Over here, Rooks. Rooks, come here. Come here. Come here. Over here, Rooks. Over here. Over there. Go over there. Rooks, over here. Rook, no, Monty. Rooks. Rooks, over here. Go over there. Go over there. Rooks, get back. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Monty, over here. Come on. Over here. Over here, Monty. All right, stay. Ready, Rooks? Ready, Monty? Well, gotta give Monty a little head start. Ready, Monty? Ready? Wait, wait, you ready? Get it! No chance. Monty just has no chance. Ah. Alright, let's cut off. Those should burn in half. Now, Monty, what do you say? You need comfiness, right? You need comfort? All right. The Monty has spoken. The Monty is wise. The Monty is kind. The Monty has a big fat booty behind. Alright Monty, this is, this is step one. Come here. Come here Monty. This is phase one of comfort buttonness, okay? Go ahead and lay down. Lay down. Lay down Monty. Lay down. Alright. Okay. We are styling now. 
Hooey. Got the fire going, got plenty of firewood, burn in half, so the work is pretty much done. We just gotta make Monty's official spot, which is not what he's got now. He's got his unofficial spot. See, you know, how you rate camping is if your Monty's having a good time. If Monty's having a good time, you're having a good time. And Monty, in order for him to have a good time, he's gotta have a nice comfy spot and get those jablutis off. So, what we gotta do is first off you flatten out the spot. You know, you shovel out the snow. Then you lay down a nice tarp. Then you put down a sleeping pad, which is that flat thing, that thermo rest, whatever that Z rest is. Then you get another air sleeping pad. Then on top of that you throw a wool blanket. And then it's just super cozy and comfy and it's up to Monty's approval rating. So, we're gonna do that. Well, I get this stuff made, and yeah. I'm not sure when that stopped recording, but we got Monty a spot. And now we're gonna see if Ruger would like a peace offering of a spot. Hi, Ruger, come here. Come here. All right, give me them. Oh, come here. Oh, look at you two. Precious, precious doggies. Are you picking up a thing or two from Mr. Monty? Are you willing to stay there for the eve? I'd really love it if you did. You know, we could just sit by the fire. I could, I could move you up here, guys. We'll do that in a bit, okay? Once we get everything all set up, I'll give you guys a spot. We'll, we'll figure something out to get you a little closer to the fire. How's that sound? Everyone everyone cool with that? Everyone cool with the assessment so far? We all, okay, we're all just licking our paws and getting the icky ice off? Okay. All right. That'll work for me. Okay. Deal. How's that sound? How's that sound, Rose? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, tuck that in your butt. Yeah. How's that sound? That's real nice. Okay. Oh, don't grow to me. It's okay. That's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, no, no, no. Lay down, lay down, lay down. It's okay. It's okay. It's... You don't have to be right next to me. You don't have to be on me. Oh, well, as you can see, I've cracked a brewski. Gonna be honest here. Uh, I moved the boy's spot closer to the fire because it's warm. Um, I'm taking my glove off and monitoring the heat coming off the fire to make sure it's not too hot because well we had a little issue one time he's oh no and we don't want to repeat that so uh yeah just kind of doing one of these yeah it's warm but it's not like hot especially down here decently warm right here but I moved kind of them back Monty's he's hiding his face but it's definitely not it's just warm right here it's fine. Feels nice. My hands are a little cold. Oh yeah. But anyways, camp's all set up. I didn't do any of my sleep stuff because you know we got the boys here. Um, you know I don't always bring out rugs. Uh, winter camping like this under the tarp. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be too cold of a night. It's gonna be in the teens. Um, but normally, if it's gonna be any colder than it is tonight. I don't bring out Rugs for the fact that he usually doesn't like to sit on a sleeping pad like this. Like Monty, since I put out the sleeping pad, he's on it. He's, he's, he knows the drill. He likes to get all comfy. Ruger, when I'm out doing stuff, he will be out doing stuff. And if it's too cold, I just, I don't have a way of knowing if he's cold. And I've, I've seen him before be cold and deal with it just because he wants he can't shut off his brain so yeah you'll see me bring him out not all the time but I, today I was packing up 
and he just knew and he went and laid next to me and just kept looking at me side eyeing me like oh we're gonna go <laughs> so i had to bring him usually he's just the hot tent guy but you know i am planning on uh doing a couple night bushcraft shelter build here soon uh i think in the next couple weeks there's stuff and things going on you know But I guess why I bring that up is because Rugs won't be joining us. I'm sorry, Rugs, but when I'm cutting logs and using a lot of sticks and stuff, you definitely uh, would. Be... What was that? Anyways, he'd be upset. So, uh, yeah, it'll be just Monty on that one. But uh, there's something exciting and new coming to the channel soon. Yes, that's right. The SS Good Times SE. <laughs> it's uh, something I talked about before. I've got it. It's just not ready. It's not Monty approved yet. Uh, it's a snowmobile. And something I don't... We, we haven't really talked about much on this channel is... At some point... These puppers here, especially the Monty, is going to be a little too, uh, he's not going to want to trudge through the snow like he was today. You know, he was trudging Monty. Want to untreat? Want to treat Monty? Want to untreat? Yeah, he's not going to want to trudge through the snow. So, at some point, I'm going to have, you know, that the plan was to get him used to it now, uh, get him on the snowmobile and I was thinking of two things I was either gonna pull him along in a sled or uh, that that was the original plan to pull him along in a sled and build a sled for both of them and I don't want to do that what I'd like to do is build him a comfy platform on the snowmobile so that he's you know not get he's he's using I mean might as well you know, use the shocks that are in the snowmobile on the super comfy ride rather than have them being pulled on a sled and being jerked around, you know? Like, if there's a rope and it's tugging, they might not like that as much, but... Ruger will probably never want to go on it, but Monty, I'm once I get used to him, I've already got the plan worked out. See, Monty sometimes gets upset when you try to, like, put him in stuff. He loves the canoe, but I gotta get him used to the the seat when I make it. I've already got it all figured out. I've got to order some parts, custom build it. So it's going to be a bit. And um, something I want to mention quick is we're not going to be using the snowmobile for every trip I go on. Definitely not. Probably not even a majority of them. Just uh, certain hot tent ones or if I go with other people in winter, we're definitely going to use the snowmobile. Or if I'm going to a spot that's like super far in, that's what it's going to open up is I can go down two tracks as far as I want that are unplowed and just go way in there and that's what I'm really excited to do and then we can hike from there if we want but uh what was I even saying oh the plan for Monty to get him used to it is I'm going to bring him out in the snowmobile we're going to go on like a two mile ride and he's going to follow my track we're going to get him all worked up tired you know trudging through the snow being like ah and he's going to get just just being like I'm sick of this. I'm done. And then I'm going to provide him salvation and plop him into the thing. And then we're just going to slowly cruise around. And he's going to be like, oh, this is pretty nice. So that's the plan. Rugs, we might try it. I, I think we'll eventually have to get the Rugs used to it. He's, he's, he struggles with the canoe still, but he's getting there. It'll be a whole new thing. But, yeah, that's the plan currently. So I got to build that, and then we'll test it out. Definitely going to take, I'm going to go out with, uh, me and Captain Teeny Trout are going to do, I think we're going to go back to that spot where we went for a few nights, do some more ice fishing. Probably bring out Funk and uh, maybe some other people. Definitely go out with Funk. So that'll be fun. Uh, but that'll, that'll make it for people that are not used to the work and winter camping. You know, it, 
the the snowmobile I got. I'm not gonna say what kind or anything yet, but you'll see. It's it's a workhorse. It'll be fine bringing other people and bringing a lot of gear. And I got it so I can go on powder and yeah, it's it's pretty nice. I'm excited to get to use it for a camp in here. But uh, Rouge, you're looking at me like I have just something that you want. Yeah, this is this is this is life right now, pal. So yeah, trip with Captain Teeny Trout in the works. That'll probably be in the next week or so. And then I'm going to do the bushcraft here in the next week or so. Uh, we've got to do, you know, the old hot tent for one of these two guys' birthdays. You know, the, the traditional one. And then uh, I'm going to go hang out with Jake's ski guy. And Ken, I think. Ken will probably be there too. And if you're not up to speed, Ken is the guy that we went out with on the negative 40 trip. And that was his first time winter camping and we had a lot of fun we're trying to do something like that but i'm going to them this time i'm just not sure how i'm going to get all my gear there that's that's been the biggest issue so far is if i take a plane you know i can't bring my shovel i can't bring like my axe i can't how am i going to fit like all this stuff this super bulky stuff into just a couple bags like my sled <laughs> you know i can't bring that sort of stuff and driving is just if I drive it'll be like four days of driving and that sounds miserable so and I've thought about shipping my stuff but then again then I won't have it to use so it's just I'm working on it okay yeah so that's what's in the works right now right Rooks? right Monty should we start making the food? You hungry? You want some food, Monty? You hungry? Well, it's gonna be a bit. It's not even your dinner time yet. Put on a, oh, I put on some layers. Well, mostly just a sweatshirt. Not really too many layers. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start preparing food here soon. Uh, Cause what I'm making tonight is gonna have to cook for a while. I was going to make a tripod for it, but I figured what the heck, we'll just set it next to it. It's going to cook just fine. <laughs> so for the dinner tonight for the boys, they're going to be having a very gourmet dish called Monty's Mangled Mush, which if you've watched my channel enough, you've definitely seen that one before. And we're having chili. Oh yeah, venison chili. From, uh, I, didn't, I didn't go out this year, but year before, year before that, we still got meat that were... We've been kind of rationing it, but we've definitely got some ground venison. Uh, yeah, making venison chili. I'm going to have a nice crispity, crunchy French baguette with it. Mm. So, yeah, we want to cook that for a good hour or two. I want it to be nice and just cooked down and all chili, chili, -y -y. 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 that doesn't sound right at all. Chili, chili, -y. chili, -y. chili, -y. is it chili -y or chili? -y -y? These are one of the many philosophical questions I ask myself out here, boys. Is it chili -y or chili? -y -y? Anywho, um, yeah. I suppose let's uh, prepare some things and uh, gets to cooking. Yeah, let's do it. Big sack of goodies here, boys. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh yeah, Monty, now you're alert. Look, Look at this guy. Wants to bring out the food and stuff. He's like, oh, it's getting serious. He's, he's grabbing the bag of fun. We got all sorts of goodies. See, the goal is to always make too much food. Then you freeze it because it's winter, and then you can take it home and have it for lunch while I'm editing the video. Or I share it with Funk. Either way, it's a win, 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 win. 
can't really do that in summertime. You gotta eat it all. We're gonna start with our ground venison. I think got a pound here. No Ruger, this one's for me. This is, it's mine. Okay, we'll just get that cooking up near the fire. Okay, then we'll start with preparing. First thing is first, the white onion. Always the white onion. You know, when you find something you like, you gotta stick with it. You know, we're just gonna add this into the pot and cook it all together. Cause it's, it's I, I'd have a good reason, but it's pr pretty much just, I just don't feel like, you know, messing around. It's, that's the, that's the real thing. So now we're gonna cut up a green pepper. Now the thing about chili is, you know, some people might say, hey, green peppers don't go in chili. And to, to, to those people I say, it's my chili. I can make it however the heck I want to. So I'm putting green peppers in it. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be told I can't. Because I can, and I'm gonna do it. Yeah, these are the pot, you guys gonna stay there because I don't wanna, I got knives around. All right, while I'm cutting this stuff up, I'm also gonna be, Chopping up this meat and stuff because I don't want it to burn. It's gonna be a little raw meat messy, and I didn't bring out any oil, so uh, got to be careful that it doesn't burn to the sides too much. Then next, of course, we've got a red pepper. Red bell pepper is my favorite pepper. You know, it's just, I just, mm, mm-hmm, mm. I could eat it like an apple. to the pot and then the last thing we're going to cut up and add right now is some garlic Funk uh, learned this new trick that she was showing me you take the whole clove of garlic and you just stick your knife in the side and you you can just pop the cloves out just they just come right out completely clean I didn't do that this time but we're gonna give the garlic the old rough chop It'll cook in. You know, I never like, I don't, I just don't like to spend too much time dicing it up, really, is what it comes down to. I just like to cut it up just enough. Maybe you get a nice bite of garlic in there. As long as it cooks in the flavors in there, you know. That's what's all important. All right, that's, that's good. So we gotta, we're getting a little, uh oh, a little burning. You know what? I don't really want to have burnt chili, so we're gonna kind of put some water in here since I didn't bring out any fat whatsoever, which is not a good idea. We already get a little black stuff in there. I wouldn't prefer to do this. But like I said, I have no fat, no oil, no butter. 
which is, I just always seem to forget something. So this will keep it hopefully from getting completely blackened and burnt. I don't mind a little, you know, color, but uh, too much, not gonna be good. We're just getting all antsy and pantsy. He wants food. Well, you're gonna get it, pal. All right, we got their sweet potato. Oh, I can't, I gotta, that's better. Be careful, careful doggies. All right, that's pretty much all I gotta prepare for mine. Like I said, the dogs just need the sweet potato cut up. We're gonna boil this for a while and water in their little pot. And then, once the meat is browned up on mine, we will add more goodies. And once the boy's potato gets softened, we'll probably add more goodies. But we're gonna cook theirs a little slower. Actually, I'll probably just cook theirs and then let it cool and let them eat before me. Cause mine's gonna, I'm gonna probably not let it go for as long as I'm saying I want to because, you know, let's be honest, you're sitting there watching it cook over a fire and then your tummy starts growling and then you're just like, you know what, I'm just gonna eat it right now because it looks good. So that's what's probably gonna happen. All right, we're gonna add this to the pot, add a little water for the boys. And we're cooking, we're cooking. If I was gonna do this a proper way, I'd brown up the meat, get a little char on it, and then I'd add the other goodies, but you know, we're doing it the, uh, the old slightly impatient way. All right, we need to add a little bit more firewood here. All right, we're gonna move this first. And then we're gonna this thing. That'll be just fine. Boys, get it on there with a little water. All right. I just shut off my light. The moon is out and the stars are like crazy. It's very nice out tonight. Stars are out just like crazy. You can't see anything else other than that moon, but oh, oh smoke in my eyes again. Oh, I can barely see in there. The smoke is, oh, it's all browned up. It's cooked down enough for me. So uh, I say we get this simmer on the road here. Add in some other goodies. First thing we're gonna add here is some uh, diced tomatoes and chilies. It's like a can of it. Oh, throw that in there. And we've got tomato sauce. Add that to the pot. Oh yeah. Next we're gonna add beans. Chili beans, beans, kidney beans, beans, black beans, beans. Uh. What else this place got? A little dollop of tomato paste. Okay, and then. On top of that, we're gonna add a fresh Monte Dukey straight from the source. Add that right in there. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty full pot right there, I'd say. Okay, then we're gonna add in a custom mix of chili powder I made. It's got cumin, it's got dark chili powder, it's got smoked paprika, uh, garlic powder, uh, onion powder, uh, crushed red pepper. We'll save a little bit of that. Oh. Okay, then of course, we've gotta add some salt. Not too much salt, not too little salt. Just the right amount of salt. Might need a little bit more. We don't wanna overdo it. Okay, that's good. And then, Last but not least, black pepper. Good amount of black pepper. 
Oh yeah, okay. We've got a chili going now. Oh yeah, this is going to, oh, this is gonna be so good. Definitely won't be able to eat this all tonight. That's like a full pot, but like I said, we're gonna freeze it, take it home, have it for lunch. Ooh. We might wanna add a little water to this, but as things cook down, water will start to come out, but I don't mind a thick chili. But what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna kind of let this heat up. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna let this cook up and then we're gonna move it off the high heat because I don't want this to just boil. But we wanna get it heated up and started going. And I also don't wanna risk it on these logs that it's laying on. If these uh, burn through, we're gonna lose our whole pot of chili and that would be horrible. So now we're just gonna bring it up to heat and get it simmering. coming out that's gonna be just fine that's gonna thicken up Ooh, getting a little stuck to the bottom Ooh, that's gonna be so good all right we're gonna pull it off this extreme heat now that it's kind of up to temperature and we don't want it to just burn and fry oh yeah it's definitely a little little char on the bottom which is okay a little bit not too much though oh my gosh this is gonna be so good now we're gonna pull it off here and let the simmering, the slow simmering begin. Little stick throwing session. Huh? Come here. Here, Monty. Go get it, Monty. Whew. Now we got our chili simmering. Um, unfortunately, my headlamp doesn't really stay up now because normally you can sit, tilt it down and it clicks. But, uh, you know, when I lifted, gave her the old lift and pull with that log and I just got whapped in the face and the headlamp, I think it might have broke it. Which is unfortunate. It kind of works, but it's very loose. Bruce, did you lose the stick already? Well, you gotta go find another one, huh? Oh. I don't know if that light's providing enough light. Get it, boys. Bring him here. Come on, T. Oh, Monty. Monty doesn't want to put his paws on the ground. Okay. Come, on, Monty. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Bring it here, Roos. Roofs. So when they uh, when I bring them out, go ahead. Their paws are totally fine. They're 100% fine walking around the snow and stuff. It's just they got to get their blood flowing because their feet are very vascular. So once they get their blood flowing, their feet are nice and toasty. But when they're laying down for an hour and he's not moving, he's a little potato. Bring here, Rugs. Then they put their feet on the freezing ground after it's been warmed up by the fire, it's shocking and cold. A lot of dogs will do that. If you get them moving around, not just go to the shocking cold. Monty, you don't, you don't want this, huh? It's like, no, actually, I'm good. I'm, I'm just gonna chill here. Yes. Oh, never mind, Monty's back. All right, over here, come here. Come here, Roos. Come here, come here, over here, over here, over here, Roos. Right here, 
Right here. All right, Monty's turn. Monty's turn. Ready, Monty? Ready, Monty? Get him, Monty. Oh boy, Rugs, you gave Monty a turn. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here. Bring it here, boys. Bring it here, Monty. Come, bring it here. Come on, bring it, Monty. Monty, this is why we can't have nice things. Are you just molesting the stick with your stinky mouth? Bring it here. Come on, Monty. Bring it here. Monty! Bring me the stick. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come on. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. Ruger, get it. Get it, Rooks. Bring it here. Get it, Rooks. Bring it here. He's too kind. He won't let, he won't take it from Monty. Monty, bring it here. Monty. All right, Rooks, bring it here. Get it, Rooks. Come on, bring it here. Bring me the stick. Bring me the stick. Bring me the stick. Bring it here, Rooks. Rooks. Both of you guys are monsters. Both of you guys are monsters. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what was that, Monty? What was that, Monty? That sounded like you were getting murdered. That was the craziest sound. Alright, get it. <laughs> Monty, that was ridiculous. He was just like... They both have their favorite games. Monty, of course, for some weird reason, likes when I hit him with pillows and stuff. That's his favorite game in the world. If I attack him with my hands, it's his favorite. <laughs> Bring it here, Rooks. And Ruger's is Frisbee. But bring it here. Bring it here, Rooks. Stop barking and just bring me the stick. Right? Get it. Anywho, let's check our chili. Well, those two nutless nutcases go crazy. Simmering it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mm. I may just have to treat myself with a meprazol for this one. Yeah, get it real prepared. Oh, it's gonna get gaseous tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can smell the farts and I can feel the heartburn already. Oh, yeah. Are you a good boy? Are you chilling, Rooks? Rooks, can you react? Well, that was a that was a big reaction. Yeah, Monty, are you hungry? Do you want food, Monty? Monty, why aren't you? Why are you guys just like not moving? Like I just, I don't like to be on the spot like that. Why would you, why would you put me on the spot and try to get me to act weird? I'm not weird. Oh, our chili is just simmering away. Oh, a little warm there. The boys is getting up to speed. We had a little danger zone issue where the logs moved a little bit. We got to be careful with that because these are gonna burn in half. But we don't want to lose the boys. Well, 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 boys. Well, it is time for Matthew Pose's famous Brewski Review Ski, where each one's a 10 out of 10 that I'd try again because I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. 
yeah we got a we got one sent to us by a subscriber here it's an untitled art lychee sherbert so let's just uh you know let's just try it out lychee juice milk and sugar milk Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that definitely tastes like beer. Definitely tastes like beer, boys. <sighs> tastes kind of sweet, like, like lychee. <laughs> I don't know what lychee is. Tastes like lychee sherbet, I guess. Tastes something, something fruity. Str strawberries and cream, maybe? Mmm. Something like that. Well, another one in the books. <laughs> right, boys? Burger is just... He's groaning at me because he knows I'm making the yummies for him. Auntie is anytime I move, he's. What's he doing? Is he, he's got my food yet? Burger, he just got frozen snow on your toes. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so good. It already tastes so good. Alright, the boy's here. That's boiling. Questionable bag of ground meat. Yeah. Smell that? Yeah. Let's to smell that. Oh yeah. Look in those lips. Let's add that on in there. Okay. Monty's mangled mush has begun. We need a nice stick. You can't, you can't uh, cook up the mangled mush without a stick. It's just not how it works. You need to mash it with a stick. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the boys. So we've been simmering for what? Maybe 30, 40 minutes, something like that. Something like that. Um, we're gonna get the boys completely done. We're going to let theirs completely cool down to the perfect eating temperature. When it's close, we're gonna throw in our delicious French baguette, get that crispity crunchity, and then we're gonna eat together. Everyone's gonna eat together, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep simmering ours and waiting for the boys to catch up. And then uh, this is gonna be all cooked down and delicious. It's already just, it tastes amazing. Onions are translucent, it just looks so good. I'm definitely gonna just, you know what? I need a, I need a members all, you know, cause you know, as, we, as time goes on and I get a little older, you know, I can't just eat stuff without repercussions. Oh. Where is it? Where is it in here? I need that first aid kit. There it is. You know, you know what I'm saying? Let's go mepper this baby up. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no.
No. I took it out of here for... Why did I take it out of here? Dang it. Well, I got Pepto pills, so that's just going to have to do. We'll just eat those with dinner. Dang it, boys. How could I do this? Oh. Maybe I should just take some now. Yeah, I'll just take some Pepto pills right now and just, you know, get it prepared. Get the old Tum Tum prepared. Take this off here. Oh, that one broke. Here we go. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, I smoked myself out pretty good there. But that camera can't even see anything. Okay. Now it's gonna be a little tricky heating up this bread without burning it. That is definitely gonna be something tricky. We'll figure it out. We'll probably just, I don't know. Ooh, this is, this is too hot. Boys, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready to, I'm ready to eat it. I don't want to wait anymore. Oh, this is too hot. All right, let's just take yours off, right? And we're going to find a nice something or other to mangle this with. Fire. All right, theirs isn't ready yet. All right, we we're getting there. Boys is cooling. And now we've got our beautiful French baguette. And we're just gonna we have to be really careful because I don't want this to burn. So I'm gonna watch this like a hawk and just keep rotating it until it's crispity crunchity and just maybe a slightly burnt but mostly golden brown. And then we're gonna get the boys Monte Mango Mush while I'm watching this. Our chili is done. I got it kind of off to the side, just just relaxing here, you know, just just chilling. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this going and we're gonna eat. So let's get the boys ready. 
don't have a proper stick, but this will mangle it just enough. I guess it doesn't really need to be mangled. Then they can have, you know, a little taste of the sweet potato and some venison. The true purpose of the mangling is to turn it into kind of a paste. Because it's a little watery unless you can mash these sweet potatoes. Handful of that. Maybe just a little bit more. A little bit more here. Monty, simmer down. All right, let's just check our evenness. This one could use a little bit more of the good stuff. Some nice, healthy bowls of Monty's mangled mush right there. It's gonna be some happy boys. Oh, my bread, I almost forgot about it. Ooh, almost burnt that. Okay, now we just need to get our bread ready and we are eating. Oh, yeah. That is some delicious campfire simmered chili right there. Oh, it looks so good. I'm probably gonna burn my mouth on this. Okay. We just need to add one last thing to the chili before it's done. Well, if I'm being honest, two things. One is our crispity, crunchity French baguette and the spoon of approval. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is some delicious campfire chili. Let's eat. Oh yeah, okay. Look at these good boys just wait. They know they want to eat their food are you hungry, Monty? Do you want to eat that? He's like, yes, stop messing with me. Uh, set these down. I'm have one more sip of this, okay? We got a full moon. Wow. All right, boys. You've been very good boys. Monty, you've been very, he's been very impatient. He's been just getting up, getting in my face, just like threatening me with those eyes and that blank stare. Burger, you've actually done very well. I'm very proud of you, but. It's time to eat. Oh, that's a, that's a pot of chili. <laughs> that's a big pot of chili. It's a quick stir. Oh, let's just go for a nice little. I kind of set it off to the side. I really hope it doesn't burn my mouth. I don't want it to. Oh man, that moon is so full. Wow. It's crazy how the camera, it just, it's just so bright that it just looks like a shiny light dot. When you see with your real eyes, it's just like the moon. You know, you can see all the spots on it and stuff. Anywho, mm. <laughs> oh, not my favorite part. I just love a crunchy piece of bread dipped into something. Let's see, if we get that crunch. Mm. Not in that part. This is the crunchy part. Oh yeah. Mm. You know what? Mm. Oh, I tooted already. I love that crunchy part. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Brr. Mm. <laughs> huh. 
hot. It's easier to eat with the bread when it's super hot. It's a little spicy. Might have added a little extra black pepper and crushed red pepper. Oh, that's spicy. All right, now we're gonna do the old food test. Ruger will always eat more food because he just loves food. Get back, Monty. Come on, back up, back up, back up, back up, get back. We'll see if Monty will eat some. There you go, go ahead, Monty. Fireworks. Now, there's no way they got less than their normal meal. Not even close to possible. But, when they're out here, if they want to eat more, I'll let them. Except for Ruth. Ruth will always eat more. Back up, Monty. Did you just, just get back? Monty ate all that. Give him a little bit more. Good, Monty. Go ahead, Monty, eat your food. All right, I can't give them too much more. Or they're gonna get sick. And they're gonna throw it up. I'll give you water. But no more food. What is, what is this crap? You serious? I'll keep eating. You know, to be honest, I've never seen Monty eat so much. I think it's because he smells the chili. Right? Well, uh, we got a hot fire. We got a delicious pot of chili here. We got a little grown in roots. Think that's appropriate? Huh? Anyways, I'm gonna keep feasting here. I'm gonna shut off this light. Enjoy the beautiful view of the stars. And we're just gonna relax for a while while I feast. Because you don't need to see any more of this. So I'll check back in with you guys when I'm done eating.
hold on. This is this is Monty's, okay? Alright. Oh no, oops. Alright, Monty. Monty? Well, that's not the proper way. We'll get you. We'll get you next. Come on, T. So, Monty normally gets his sleeping pack, but since Monty is generally, oh, yeah. oh there you go, that's okay. Get into it, Monty, yeah. There you go, good boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez, oh, you got me in the face, Monty. Oh, yeah, we're sleeping in a sleeping bag again. Remember, remember? Yeah. Okay, let me just get that that's booty. Anyways, yeah, Monty can handle the cold better than the, the old Rugie. So, Ruger gets first pick on the warm sleeping bag and pad, which Monty will be fine. And then Monty will get the thicker wool blanket. <sighs> Stinky. Or this one. There we go. There you go, Monty. I know, it seems. <laughs> Alright, Rugus. Up, up. Up, up, Rugus. Alright. Right here. Right here. You're gonna, you're gonna pretend we're gonna snuggle. Come here, Rugus. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's a little. We're gonna turn that butt. There you go. All right, now we're gonna wrestle up the roos. <laughs> Gotta give the roos credit. He is a good boy now. When it comes to bedtime and chill time, he's doing a lot better. He still gets a little crazy, but he's doing pretty dang good. Puppies here. Oh, you let the fire burn down. Hi, Rooks. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. We sat for a good couple hours after I ate that chili, and just ah, didn't do much. I'm gonna be honest. Um, we actually ate dinner at a respectable time today. I mean, I was. We ate at like 8 p.m., which is like a an actual dinner time, which is very abnormal for me. Normally, we're eating at like 11, midnight, later. Especially lately, huh, Rugs? Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh. Yep, they're going to need a minute to settle. This is the first time they've slept in sleeping bags since last winter. They've been getting spoiled with the old... Hot tent. Me too, I guess. Um, there's one thing 
It's always rough in the morning when you're sleeping under a tarp and that's uh, putting your layers back on because they're all ice cold and your boots are frozen and your socks are frozen. It's all just chilly in the morning. But anyways, it's time to lay down and go to sleep. So uh, we're going to pass out. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. Let's lay it down. Let's lay it down. Let's lay it down. You think that's appropriate? I get up and you steal my spot? It's a good try, it's a good try. But you got fur. I need this one, I don't freeze. Slept so good. Yes, you did. You want to know how I know you slept good, Monty? Because you were snoring all night long. Yes, you were. You were snoring like a big potato. Or a big slug. Or a sloth. Whatever you want to be called. Oh, yeah, Luigi. It's a happy doggy. Ruger forfeited his morning pets. Yes, he did. Oh, he did because he just left. Come back here. You're not done. I'm not done with you. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yes. Oh, oh no, come on. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. So much crap in my sleeping bag. Oh. Oh. So I slept pretty good last night. Oh. Ah. Pretty good. Oh. It's still, it's still there. All the wood is still there. It's so still out this morning. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I can't stop farting. Mm. Imagine that. <sighs> I was farting all night long. I was playing a, a just a, chorus with the butt trumpet. Oh, an orchestra going on. Oh. But yeah, um, Ruger did pretty good. I kept, so when I sleep out here and I'm not using the, 
the hot tent, I have to get up and check on the dogs. Monty has to be flipped like a like a like your grill a uh, grilled cheese. You need to you to keep flipping your Monty. He only needed I think three flips last night. He was just <laughs> snoring. He was just out. I was pushing into him and stuff, and I was rolling around because I roll around, and he was just <laughs> not reacting, just snoring. Rosie was a little more up and down and turned around. But he was fine. He slept. I could feel him twitching. They were both passed out. Um, yeah. The wind was blowing a little bit last night, but it's not really that bad this morning. I can barely see any leaves moving now. I got so much crap, like I said, inside my sleeping bag. I've, I've learned a few things. Uh, I always keep my gloves inside the sleeping bag because I learned a while ago that they freeze solid if you leave them out. I leave my batteries, my camera, inside my sleeping bag. Uh, I've got my headlamp in here. What else do I got? I've got, uh, I've got, uh, my sweatshirt. Because when I put it on in the morning, and I also use it to, like, block my neck. I like the cold air coming in, because I don't like to, I like to let my face stick out of my sleeping bag so I can breathe the cold air, because otherwise, I don't know why. I just, I cannot stand it if I'm breathing my own recycled air. But anyways... Ah. Monty, come here, Monty. Come here. Monty. Monty. Oh, I gotta put their jablooties on. Oh, we gotta get up. Monty. Come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Come on. Monty. Hi! Oh no! Oh, hi, Monty. He's like, yeah. Oh, I, I, I give up out there. It's not much. It's just, it's just not worth it sometimes. Oh, oh, you're right, Dad. We should just, we should just stay here. All right, we're gonna get out. Let's do it. Hi, puppy. Ruger. Hey. Hi, Monty. Hi. Hi, Monty. Hi. Burger, don't eat the sticks. Oh, jeez, you want this one? Are you Monty? Get it, Monty. Bring here, Roots. Oh, boy. Come on, Roots. Bring it here. Bring it here. Put it in my hand. Gotta put it in my hand. Gotta put it. There we go. <sighs> Ruger's nuts. Find it, Rugs. I threw it. Yeah, Ruger is. When he got up here, you just stole Monty's, Rugs. You little stick thief. I saw where it landed. Get him, Monty. Get that stick back. That's Monty's stick. You lost yours. Go get it, Rooks. Go find it. Find it. Go find it, Rooks. Go, go find it. Oh, now I gotta help Monty. Just, hey, hey, I get it. I, I, I get it. Oh. Well, get it, Monty. Bring it here. Anywho. It's 
still pretty pretty out here. But uh, I think it's time to get packed up, eh? You know, we got ourselves a drive to do. And uh, yeah, so I suppose we should get packed up. I'm kind of brain farty today. Been farting all night, and now my brain's farting. Oh, our chili's frozen. Nice. Oh, it smells good. Should do chili and eggs sometime. Make like a breakfast burrito and smother it in chili. Come here. Cruz. Go ahead. Come drink this, Rooks. No. Come here. Come here. Go ahead, right there. Get that. Go ahead, Monty. Get that. Neither of you guys want my water, huh? Monsters. All right. No eating sticks, Rubes. Come on. We talked about this. How about a peace offering for you boys? Huh? You guys cool with a little peace offering? How about some frozen venison bones so that I can be rest assured that Rugus Over here, over here, over here, over here. Come here, come here, Ruth. All right, twirl. Twirl again. Over here, Ruth. Here, Monty, Monty, right here. Monty. All right, sit. Sit pretty. Good boys.
These dogs have not moved this entire time. I've got everything packed up. I'm just loading up the sled now, but they're just crunching and munching away. You love to see it. Yeah, it doesn't feel too cold this morning, to be honest. Actually, it is 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative eight Celsius. So it's actually kind of a warm morning. Usually in the mornings like this, this is when it's super cold. So I suspect today will be warm. Probably be, might even get above freezing today. It's been an odd winter so far. Um, it just has not been cold. Normally we get some frigid temperatures around this time of year and we've just had some warm days, which I don't like. If I'm being perfectly honest, it gets uh, icicles on my roof, my house, because the snow's melting off like crazy. And yeah, it's not making winter camping quite as quite as nice. I like it when it's a little more chilly, and you hike, and you're not just dripping sweat. And on top of that, I want to build a Quincy here. If it keeps being warm, it's just going to make it harder. I definitely want to make a Quincy this winter. we got to redeem ourselves from the last time we tried to make a Quincy. That's for sure. All right, I think I got everything. All right, puppy dogs, bring them here. Bring them here. Bring them here, come on, bring them here. Bring it here, bring it here, bring it. Monty's like, did you hear something, Ruger? Yeah, me neither. Maybe just an annoying animal chirping. I bring crap to you. Come on, bring them here. Bring him here, bring it, bring me the bone, bring me the treat, bring it here. Bring it, come on, bring it here, bring it here, come on, bring it here. Come here, bring it here, bring it here. Good boy, Rugs. you did it, you brought it to me. Thank you, thank you, Rugs. thank you. Monty just ignored me completely. All right, I gotta grab these. They can finish these at home. This one. Give it here. Give it here. Thank you, Roos. Oh, oh, oh. Give it here, Roos. Give it here. Come on, give it here. Give it here. Just give it here. Hey. All right. Come here, Monty. Come here, Roos. Hi. Hi, puppies. Hi. So, that was a wonderful little overnighter. I mean, the, the forest is just so beautiful right now. It's just the snow stuck to the trees like this. It's not always like this with the just trees draped over. Um, certain parts of the two track were def definitely just going through trees and stuff. And then just going through the woods. Yeah. I like that there's enough snow, at least right now, where I can go over all the down trees and stuff. But anyways, we had some fun. We had some delicious food. I've got leftovers for today. I'm going to share some with Funk, probably eat some more, get a nice piece of bread. And, uh, hey, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? Yeah, so uh, we're going to get heading back to the car and heading home because we've got a little drive to do and a little hike to do. So, uh, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's go. Come on. Come on.